Hello again, everyone. It is your Black Knight. And when I picked up the Carbonazer, another meme car. Apparently, the handling is such that it got the nickname the Carbonus Square. And they actually have one over on Project Homecoming with square wheels. But, looking at this car, you know what I see? If you squint, you see Tyler Hoover's 599 Ferrari. How could they not want this? Yeah, I don't really get it at all, personally, especially this one in this spec. Uh, no sale don't bring a trailer for 130, mm. which is. Pretty darn low, 30,000 miles, clean history. The Venusia paint, the MSRP was like 400 grand, 370 something, way up there new. Oh my goodness. I know, and they were selling for over MSRP new, so whatever happened, I don't know. This is the unwanted GT Ferrari. It's so beautiful. I love the front end on these. Yeah, and it drives even better. Hey, it's, it's a rough approximation. And since I need, I have some space in that garage, and I need some space in this garage. And since he appears to be going through a tough time, I don't know how he's how he's doing. The videos are becoming more infrequent. More and more hints at a divorce. You know, there's there's a lot going on. Don't even know if he still has this car. Many of his cars have been put on the block. Now what do you need? But I'm gonna make this my my 599 homage. Because you have to have a a carbon is there. I mean, you know, you can't get them anymore, at least at the time of this recording. They've been taken off the websites. You can't steal them off the streets because, you know. I don't know if, what the uh, the 599 has, but I'm going to assume it's a double edged bus. Welcome to Hoovy's Garage, the dumbest automotive channel in all of YouTube. And today we are heading to the Car Wizard with my 2008 Ferrari 599, which I have just purchased. <laughs> We're, we're, we're really going to be really kind of stretching, stretching here. Let, let's uh, let's just give this the San Andreas loop. They don't have a Kansas loop. Let's see, is there anything else we can... Let's, let's do classical horn loop too because... That seems fitting somehow. Headlights, xenon lights, neon kit, neon layout. We're gonna leave this white. We're gonna go for a slightly non-standard color that probably would uh, make sure it's yeah, it's covered. Plate will leave. Respray. This is where you know, and we've only got one color. It's an old car. Look at Hoovy's car. He describes it as a purple, but it's got more of a red to me. So we're good. We're gonna go for like a red with some purple added kind of thing, I think. I wanna see maybe a wine red might be a little too dark, but might not be. That wine red might be a yeah, wine red with some kind of dark purple pearlescent. I think will get us where we need to be. You've got an eye crystal. And not like a bright purple, which would be really noticeable. Although I always say that, then I do the opposite of what I say. Okay, so we got shafter purple. That might be pretty close. There's your bleach brown. Spinnaker purple. Midnight purple. Long and hard. That just turns it almost black. Bright purple. That now it looks like it's it looks great. You can't. I think we go with the shaft for purple. Man, is it? Is there, there's nothing to the red then. Making decisions is stressful. Let's go back to metallic. Let's see here now. Wine red. Should we just leave it wine red and forget the, the comments of its purpleness? What about a pearlescent? Oh, it really takes it away, doesn't it? Life is hard when you can have anything. The wine red is very susceptible to pearlescent. It just changes the color of the car. 
I think we leave it as it is for right now until I get some better views. On it. Let's see, do I have anything on the the, the thing here? Design. Looking at the car with the different things. But it's not even that red though. Like if we go with one of those dark purple pearlescents. First let's look at just a wine red pearlescent just to neutral out. Or cabernet red. That might work too. Tough call, I'm gonna go with the Cabernet Red. I'm sure it looks a little different in real life. Spoiler, we need something. Go mid-level. Just for performance. Competition suspension on it, why not? I say why not. Race transmission. I know his probably doesn't have a turbo, but... Now wheels, wheels we can have here. Wheel type, high end. Chrome. I think it's a chrome, right? They look chrome a really bright alloy, and I know this tire this this wheel exists. That is pretty much it. That is close. Um uh, got my attention away from the beetle now. I I guess. Uh wow. You know, this is kind of the Ferrari that nobody wants though. I don't know if there's something that's more close. Do you need a drink? Bubbles? But I think that's it. Tires, bulletproofs. They're bulletproof. Windows like smoke. Exit to ground because we're we're taking this out. Dude. And we're gonna repark this up at. I think this is the Hoovies garage tour. I just wonder this one or this one. I'll try this one first. It's the gray house. Car Reserve gets a lot of disrespect for being a for being basically wildly unstable. It does not handle very good. But it's not it's not an unfast car, you know, it's in its own right. I mean it will it will zip, but it'll also crash. And it has again its place in the GTA Lora as it's something that I believe Ruffy1322 took for a G Fred and it didn't end well at all and he swore he'd never take another one. And just for that alone you gotta have one. But look how well this fits in here at the Hoovies Garage Garage. And again, a lot of these are very loose homages. Because that if you squint could look like the 599. If you this was the only Lambo based kind of Lambo based uh, target top sort of thing here. It's the only speedster. So that's as close as I could get to his mercy, which I believe he's sold in the divorce here as well, at least the alleged divorce. He still has the 25th anniversary Kuntosh in white, so I still have that one. He did get rid of a long time ago the purple uh, Rolls Royce. We it did still exist here. We still have the purple Rolls. And of course, who could forget, you know, the uh, Riptide Blue. Uh, I believe it was a Cadillac. <laughs> that looks pretty darn close how that Cadillac looks. We have Riptide Blue. On the gray side, I mean, this is just a G-Wagon. I could probably get rid of the G-Wagon. But this is a Dubsta 2, I believe. And those are kind of... They were impossible to get except off the street before they took everything off the website. So I'd like to keep this. I think it's a... It, there's no way of telling it's a Dubsta 2 except knowing that if you're off to the side on that... on the, uh, the tire, that's a 2. The, uh, the regular ones, it, the tire is a spoiler option. It comes up in the middle. And we have the Aston Martin homage for the car that all three of the, uh, the, the car track guys owned. 
which he may have sold that too. I don't know. He's sold selling a lot of stuff. He's not. You have to do a survivor's video once all this is done. See what he still has. And of course, whatever that McLaren Mercedes thing. This is there's something close to this that he has. And we still have how many spots? We still have two more spots here. I have to figure out cars I have that I can convert to Hoobie's Garage Garage kind of things. But, of course you want to see the carbon is square taken up on a chili hot. This may not end well. It's in the sports class, not a supercar. This will be interesting because the last time I did the Habanero went up without any kind of problem, but this is the carbon is in. Let's go time of day. If we want to lock it to noon, we want to give it the best chance possible because we want to go up and go down. Customs are on, traffic is on, everything's on. We're on. There we got the, we got the, uh, the Franklin Buffalo. Yeah, I know. In, in game, in the game, it came as white. I made my green. So there it is. Comes up pretty quickly. Cups them. Cut them in his hand. The car you're said to never. You should never take this on a G3. We may find out why. Now this is a fully upgraded and armored uh, car. Is there so? has some advantages. Alright, or maybe not. I've never had to make a second attempt at the, the jump before. Wow. Okay, well, that's... Okay, let's re... Third attempt. No hope of being the train now. Alright, that was ugly, but we got a cross. In theory. <laughs> nope, 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 we're stuck. I need to practice at this because I do plan on getting into a G Fred this coming Sunday. I do not plan on taking the carbon is square. Man, this thing is not gotten off to an auspicious start. Little bouncy. Little bouncing baby boy here. We're just gonna It's really tail happy. Carbon is Will it finally get there? Do, 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 do. Probably not as fast as the habanero. Because it's going to struggle. Do, 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 do. That is going to struggle. Da, 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 da. And I feel like I'm going to get launched off a bridge. I don't know why. Do, 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 do. But I'll try not to get launched off a bridge. Alright, we made it. Carbon is there. Oh, poor Hoovy, what's happening to your life? I really feel bad for him, you know? I don't know what's going on. Maybe I shouldn't feel bad for him. Maybe he's the guy causing the trouble, you know? Maybe he's too famous. Too many girls throwing themselves at him. On some of that movie. He did make a big deal about getting a vasectomy, so I mean, you know. If you look up the, uh... The whatchamacallit, the, the Grand National, the Buick Grand National video. He hits himself with the door. Right after the vasectomy. If you're into schadenfreude. Okay, car, don't you don't you poop out on me. You were doing so good, so much momentum. Oh 
carbon is square. Looping and twisting and turning. Come on. Get us up to the to the place where we can get a little more traction. Good. Still, the habanero did better. It's a wide car. I can see this yeeting me off the side. I feel the yeet coming. Don't you feel the yeet? Have to take it really careful. And yet keep as much momentum as I can. I, didn't, I could end up stalled. Pretty handily. Thought that was the yeet. I really thought that was the yeet. I thought we were going airborne over the side. Carbon the square row. Okay, now it's did that joke already. We're not doing that any. Oh, dip, dip. Facing the rump. You almost had to go for the yeet there. Oh, heavens to Murgatroyd. You're kidding. Well... Well, we're at the top of the world now. Carbon is square Oh, ow, ow, ow. It does not feel like a good G-Fred car, I've got to tell you. I would have been in a bicycle there. But, see, doing it this way, we get to evaluate all the different ways the car can be bad. I think this is going to be bad. To realize I'm kind of, you know, self-fulfilling prophecy myself here, but, you know. Take it gentle. Had to do a panic horn there. It's deliberate. It wasn't really a panic horn. It was a deliberate panic horn. <coughs> no. Yeah, you could. This, this car just gets stuck. We go for the full yeet? I think it just needs full yeet. Okay, it's a pretty good full yeet. Ow. Glad we put armor on. Ugh. It's the train! Oh, it's a fish tailing. Wait, my fish tailed into the train and just exploded. We're not doing that though, we're gonna bring this home. The carbon is square. Yeah, that's what we're... Poopy's being very tight lipped about the whole divorce thing, right? Yeah, maybe though maybe after it's out of litigation there'll be a story, or maybe there won't be, you know? The boy the man deserves a a private life, of course. I pray for the kids. Yeah, God bless the kids, and maybe they still have a an undamaged and happy upbringing. With the knowledge that Daddy unloaded all of these cars, and now they should have a college fund. I don't know. It's just, I'm sure they'll have a college fund one way or another. Ooh, he's not gonna let them in the. You're not gonna let your kids kind of out to dry. There are you who? No, you're not. Of course not. We're a little, a little stanced here. I wonder if we'll get some kind of turbo speed out of this. I don't drive it enough to know when I'm going faster than it should normally go. That feels pretty quick. Carbon is square. Look at that tail. There's no grip in the tail on this car. It is an ass happy car. Ass happy. That's something that we should we should probably not use as a car description and really, you know. How ass happy is your car? Well it depends on what you mean. Um and of course we're gonna try this. How bush happy is it? That's another Didn't like that. 
Didn't like the jump. Didn't like that jump. Let's counter, counter, use the force loop. Ugh. Rear end's really caved in there. Again, this is an older car. So it does have a lot of the really wild crash uh, deformation. Take a look at that before we go through the lights here. It's not like we're really looking for times here because I mean. Oh dear! Wow! I've never done that route before. I've never done that one. Oh, there it is, a 9F. That's what we should. That's what we should steal to finish. But we're not. We're just gonna look at this thing. All beat up and be raggled. Didn't even scare the people. No matter how many people I run over, you think they'd react more. So there you have it! Movies 599-ish car. That's how I'm justifying the parking space. Oh, Rapid GT. That's probably a better choice. The car reserve has a lot of British influence too, so it's definitely not a dead nuts on copy of, of the 599. But hey, it's you know it's it's close as I can get. It gives me a place to park the carbon is there. We'll free mode this. Take one last look at it. I will say this, based on my parking situation. Where'd it go? I have no car. Um, hmm. Let's make sure we still have it. It's really weird if something glitched out and the car is gone. Mad Wayne T Drive, there we go. I guess it's, it's fitting enough to take a look at all of them. Again. He is a Mad Wayne, isn't he? That's, that's what they should have called him. Not, not Tyler. Mad Wayne Hoover. Okay, it scared me there for a minute. Ooh. Alright, so it exists. This exists as a thing, and you know, that, that looks about, about right. So, what can I put in these two spots? I'm going to have to look at what I own that needs a home and see if I can hooverize it. That'll be my next, uh, my next challenge. Might not be anything. Might just have a couple spaces here for the future. But, on that note, ladies and gentlemen, this is your Black Knight. Have a great night. And I'm just going to tack this on at the end of the, the video here. Here is my GP1, which I got a while back here in the Top Gear garage. And here is another GP1 that I purchased in the Panic. So I have two of them. And they're nice cars. They've got a lot of customization and all that, but I don't think I need... Two, no. So, see, I'm recording. We want to get this moment here. Modify. Can we sell? Yeah, it's a nice car. You can't get them anymore, but I got one. And parking is a thing. Parking. Seven hundred fifty-six thousand, which means that's about how much I lost on this. Seven hundred fifty-six thousand, but we'll get that much back, and we, you know, basically, I'm paying. 800k for a parking space. Yeah, yeah, it's, we got a parking space. Huzzah! Parking's at a premium.